everybody, I'm Jennifer from Gen W Arts and in today's video I'm going to test the Color Tone colored pencils from Chameleon. I really love their alcohol marker so I'm really curious how these pencils will perform. So let's move on to it. So the brand Chameleon you probably know or remember them from their alcohol marker line but it seems they branched out to colored pencils as well. Um, so the idea behind this pencil is that there are actually two colors in one pencil and well basically two hues of one color, a lighter and a darker one and this should make it easier to blend the colors uh, together just by flipping the pencil without having to grab another one. So let's open a box. Open the box. So it has some kind of sleeve thingy with a little bit of information on the back of the colors that are in there. Um, they say they're highly pigmented, intense color, ultra smooth uh, consistency, permanent, brick resistant, 3.8 millimeters thick lead and pre-sharpened. Um, so then we have this box and the idea behind this box is that you can uh, set it up. Oops. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Um, so there are two little magnets down here, which should latch onto the parts that are under this, under there, but I found it doesn't work quite well. You have to like really push it down for it to grab. So I think they should have used stronger, stronger magnets, because look, you just have to move it a little bit and then it, it just comes loose that easy and it just doesn't stick that well um, so yeah they should have used better magnets and I've seen videos of other people with the same problem here so yeah I really think if they want to make this a functional thing that they have to improve it um, so here are the pencils I've used them already so some are shorter than the others um, so basically you have um, the part where the word chameleon is on are the lighter colors and then the part where it says made in Austria are the darker colors. Um, so yes, it tells you the brand name and it was made in Austria, then the color names and the corresponding number. But um, there is no light fastness rating on these pencils. Uh, if you try to research it, they just only say that some colors are more light fast than the others, but that basically doesn't really tell you a whole lot about it. So that's a bit of uh, valuable information that you lose right there. And I think it is important, especially when you want to make lasting art with it or want to sell it. Then it comes with a little pamphlet and the pamphlet is a bit disappointing because it just doesn't have a lot of information in there. So I just feel like what's the use of it? it um, they don't tell you either whether these pencils are oil or wax based. Um, <coughs> after a bit of research. I found out that they are wax based, but it is uh, information that they should just provide you with, especially when they go through the trouble of making a pamphlet but don't tell you the information you need to know, because they just basically explain how the color pencil works, but yeah, that's not really a lot of rocket science, is there? Um, so yeah, the, the present... Presentation-wise, it it needs a lot of improvement. 
it is nice that they gave or that they put a color swatch down there uh, of all the colors so that's nice but yeah the magnets that just needs to be improved and they just need to include more information um, so yes let's move on to the actual testing tutorial video and see if they if the pencils themselves are actually worthwhile first of all my apologies for the ra radio silence i had a bit of a streak of bad luck the past four weeks my camcorder broke after barely two years of service luckily i still had this video and a couple of other videos recorded before it died also i got a very bad cold i even lost my voice for a couple of days and the weather has been terribly hot and humid the past month so i wasn't able to do much else but to melt in a puddle of goo <laughs> Um, anyway, for the sketch I am using a mechanical pencil with a blue polymer lead. For this piece I am not using a reference, so the raven may look a bit fantasy-ish and not very realistic and correct. But that's okay, it's just a quick for fun drawing anyway. For the background I have used one pencil for the first two or three layers. The one with the hues ginger and spice. I started with the lightest color, ginger, to lightly lay down the first layers. Then I flipped the pencil to add a darker hue, spice, to create some contrast and map the cloud sky formations. I keep repeating this until the colors start to look vivid enough. Then I softly glaze some yellow colors over the lighter areas, the to be clouds, and blend everything with zested solvent. The first layers look more saturated and smoother between all the color transitions. This way. When working with solvent, you don't need to use a lot. Just a slight damp brush works great. Too wet, too wet just makes for a much longer drying time and won't have as good as a result. After the piece has dried, I come back in again with purple and blue colors to add more contrast and to create a kind of sunset sky. These colorful, colorful skies are my favorite. The vividness and the contrast in those skies are just so pretty. So far, I think the pencils work really well. They layer nicely on top of each other without wax bloom and lay down nice and vivid colors. The lead feels a bit harder than the Prismacolor Premiers and softer still than the Pablos from Carandage. They also work really well with solvents and blending pencils, so they do feel like a quality pencil while drawing with them. It is actually really nice to have two views in one pencil. You just flip the pencil when you need to blend with a lighter color or layer with a darker color. It is a lot faster than to switch pencils all the time or looking through your stash for the matching color. Because each pencil has to use of one color, I think this set is a great set to begin with for budding artists who don't have a lot of experience with coloring and color theory yet. Also, I think these are fun pencils for adult coloring books. However, the fact that there is no light fastness information won't make this pencil attractive for professional artists, as they like to sell and display their works. Also, I think they are a bit too pricey. I bought my set for roughly 58 euros with a 10% off sale. Normally they retail for about 65 euros here. In my opinion that is a bit much considering you buy a set of 50 half pencils of which you don't know how fugitive they are. Let's face it. If you add about 10 to 20 euro more, you own a set of 60 full polychromos pencils, which are truly artist grade pencils. Overall, I do really like the pencils as they perform just as well as most artist grade pencils. They layer well without wax bloom, the harder wax lead allows you to create fine and sharp details. They blend together with each other and other blending mediums really well. I absolutely found coloring the background with them was very satisfying 
and they have nice, rich and vivid colors. It's just a shame that they are a bit expensive and that you can't buy the pencils individually when you run out of a color. Also, I wouldn't have minded if they made the pencils a bit larger, so you got a bit more than 50 half pencils. So all in all, I have mixed feelings about these pencils. They are okay, but there are better pencils out there for a much better price. We're nearing the end of the video, so thank you all for watching and hope the video was helpful. Please leave me a like if you thought it was and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos. Hopefully I'll see you all back in the next video. Have a good one!